Welcome back, learners! How are you today? It's me again, Teacher Jordan, and welcome to the next lesson for English 9. This is the part 1 of the video regarding about conditionals. So if you're ready, let's get started! Your goal is to identify the parts of conditionals. This lesson focuses on the forms and the use of conditionals. As grammatical features, conditional is used in expressing stand or arguments, which may be useful in persuading others to move or act, or even change their thoughts. Before we proceed with the lesson, let's have some train of thought. Imagine that you have lots of money. How much would you like? Let's say 10 million. If you have 10 million pesos, what would you do with the money? Now say your answer by filling out this sentence. If I have lots of money, I would blank. I invited three Jordans to complete the sentence and even make their own sentences using if clause. Let's see the answer of the athletic Jordan. If I only have lots of money, I would buy a red sports car. Oh, nice answer, athletic Jordan. How about you, generous Jordan? What's your answer? Hmm, if I have lots of money, I would donate to a charity! Great! What an act of generosity and kindness! Keep it up! How about you, Explorer Jordan? If I had 10 million pesos, I would travel around the world! Exciting! I hope to see your feed soon! Now let's analyze this sentence. If I only had lots of money, I would buy a red sports car. This group of words presents condition and being introduced by if. In that case, we called it if clause. While these words explain the result or the outcome of the condition, we are calling it the main clause. Conditionals are statements expressing the result of a particular condition. We use if clause and when clause in presenting the condition, while the main clause explains the result. Example conditional sentence. If you pray hard for it, you will receive it. If you pray hard for it, these words tell the condition on how to get the outcome. This is the if gloss while the other words in the sentence tells what might happen this is the main clause in this statement conditionals appears first before the main clause and in the second sentence you will receive it if you pray hard for it the underlined words tell what might happen this is the main clause. While the other words in the sentence tell the condition on how to get the outcome or the result. This is the if clause. In here, the main clause appears before the conditional. The meaning of the sentence remains the same. Even in affirmative or negative structures. Now, can you identify the if or when clause and the main clause in this sentence? I'll send it to you as soon as I'll go home. What is letter A and what is letter B? Letter A is the main clause, while letter B is the when clause. Now let's have the sentence number two. God listens when you pray. Which one is the when clause and the main clause respectively? What is letter A and what is letter B? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see. Letter A is the main clause and letter B is the when clause. 
Now let's have the third sentence. If I didn't need this diploma, I had steady less. Which one is the if clause and which one is the main clause? Letter A is the if clause and letter B is the main clause. And for the last sentence, if I present the issue to the supervisor, he'll find ways in solving it. Which one is the if clause and which one is the main clause? Aha! Uh -huh. Letter A is the if clause and letter B is the main clause. Good job, everyone! You can now identify the if and when clause and the main clause. Your next goal is to identify the different types and ways in writing conditionals. Till next time, have fun learning!